All right, back by a popular demand. One of the longer episodes I had on my channel before was the entire putting the elevated train layout over my office. It was, and I thought it was also one of the funniest ones I did. If you've seen it, I'll put the link up above here. If not, then you're about to get a treat because I'm about to show you this. Let's talk about everything that went wrong with it before. The problem I had with it before was that everything was like this. You were looking up at that. And it didn't seem like it was that bad at first. But then when you are looking at just steel track all the way around the room above you, you had the uncomfortable feeling like you were in a meat locker. And it was just very, it was, it was very uncomfortable. It felt like you were about to freeze to death uh, because you were in a meat locker. So this time we're gonna, we're gonna have some differences. I'm gonna put it up on some, uh, I'm gonna make some wooden shelving. Everything is gonna be like you see right up there. There's a shelf right there above the window. So I'm gonna run that all the way around the room. Cool that. That'll give me, that's my lowest point. I can have a train layout. If you remember what I talked about the last time I did this, I talked about you have to find your lowest clearance point because that determines the level of your layout. So you have to find the highest spot in the room establish where the lowest part of your layout can be. So that's basically what we're doing now. Okay, here's the stuff. Got my drill, got my rigid screwdriver. And uh, the way I'm gonna plug this up is I'm gonna use the power supply that came with my Santa Fe. So it's a Lionel 120 watt AC power supply. And here's the model number in case you're curious and wanna get your own, but basically that's all it is. It's just that. I can't remember how much it is in the catalog. And then, this is what I got to make it happen with out of my Santa Fe. This is the AC adapter. All I gotta do is plug it in right there. And then, so it'll work with all my Menards tracks so that wasn't a complete waste. I bought these adapters that adapt from Fast Track over to the Menards track. Otherwise, I would have just kept the Fast Track, but you know, I spent the money on the Menards track because, well, number one, it's cheaper. And I wanted to have the, I had a lifelike power supply from the 60s, and that was what I was gonna use this for. So um, before I can start, I have some wood to cut. Uh, so I'm gonna get the wood cut and I'm gonna put it in place. I'm gonna use these brackets. These were the least expensive brackets I could buy. So you can see this is how I insulated them. I put some electrical tape along them, and then the Menards track just sat on top of it. Well, now I'm going to be attaching this to the shelf, so I'm not so much worried about the insulation. But it's just going to be the shelf going across this way. This part goes into the wall. So now I've got to decide if I want to suspend this or if I just want to put it here. You'd see this part beneath, but the track would... So probably for rigidity point, it would be make more sense to put the board along here have this beneath but if I put this above it still has plenty of clearance as you can see there's quite a gap it's not gonna make contact at all it should work just fine and that way I don't have to sit there and look up at brackets the whole time so I just gotta decide what do I want do I want to hang the shelf that way or we'll see that's unique
Okay, so I got the first shelf on. The important thing to remember here is that what I'm doing is I'm measuring it has to go completely around the room at exactly the same height, which was uh, according to my lowest point, and that was 8 and 1 16th high. So all around the room it has to go to 8 and 1 16th high for it to run level. If it's Baroque, don't fix it. Alright, let's see if I got enough wood to finish this.
And that's it. It's pretty much the way you see it for now. On the next episode, what I'll do is I'll show you how I hook up the track, how I had to set the track in, in some step-by-step -step on how to cut the track. And uh, remember, hit like, subscribe, comment. Uh, it helps uh, search engines to find us, helps p companies like Lionel to find us. Maybe they'll start giving me some trains. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.